Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Hi, I'm Alan Campbell. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. The trailer holding the Veterans War Memorial that was stolen in Clinton Township has now been found. Officials say everything inside the custom made wall, merchandise and all of the biography books, which were built for each war hero, have been recovered. However, police say the truck towing the trailer is still missing. Anyone with information is asked to call police. The Oakland County Parks and Recreation Department is looking for information on the person or persons responsible for cutting down a memorial pine tree. That tree was next to the Rose Oaks County Park parking lot off of Fish Lake Road in Holly. If you have any information on who may have chopped down the tree, contact the Oakland County Sheriff's Office. Detroit's new Shinola Hotel had to be evacuated after a bomb threat was called in. Police say the hotel security director received a phone call saying the building needed to be evacuated before a bomb went off. A section of Woodward near the hotel as well as the people mover were shut down while police investigated. The hotel is scheduled to open next Wednesday. Here's meteorologist Mike Taylor with a check of your 7 First Alert forecast. Mike. Overnight lows are going to go down to around 32 degrees. We stay partly cloudy, chilly and calm. And over the next couple of days, we'll have opportunities for some rain Thursday as well as Friday. But Friday's high temp 55 degrees Saturday and Sunday. Temps go right back where they belong for this time of year, back into the 30s. And we'll keep those temps in the 30s all the way into 2019. All right, sounds good, Mike. Thank you. After 42 years, an iconic bartender in Midtown has poured her last drink. 69 year old Charlene Dexter started pouring drinks at Bronx Bar in the Cass Court back in 1977. At that time, she was just 27 years old and a single mother. Since then, she's become a fixture in the local bar scene, known for her sassy attitude and vulgar vocabulary. She became known as the queen of the Bronx bar. Those are your headlines. Remember, go to our website, WXYZ.com and our 7 app for news anytime. Have a great day. These have been your latest headlines and 7 First Alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.